All right, guys, we're gonna show you the hip hinge today. This is a very important movement. We do this a lot, I'd say hundreds of times a day. Uh, from washing your hands, picking something up, sitting down, uh, we hinge a lot. And if you do it improperly, uh, you round your back too much or you over arch, you pinch it down, you're gonna cause uh, some wear and tear into your lumbar spine and possibly cause uh, you know early degeneration and possibly surgery. So we're gonna show you how to brace the core and the spine and learn to move over the hips, okay? Now, this is very difficult. It's good to have some kind of feedback, some kinesthetic feedback. I like to use a PVC pipe. If you don't have one of these, you can use a broomstick. Um, but first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna line this thing up, all right? You're gonna put your head, your upper back and your butt all on the PVC pipe. You can see I have a gap between my neck and a gap in my lumbar spine. Those are our extension curves. If you don't have those, come see us, we'll fix that. But we're going to brace, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get my ribs stacked on top of my pelvis. My abs are actually tight, and I'm going to put a soft bend in my knees. My feet are nice and stable, pointing straight ahead. And all that's gonna happen is my pelvis and my upper spine are just going to move over my hips. And you can see I maintain the curve in my back and my neck the whole time, okay? And the other thing you can see, as I go forward, my head goes forward, my butt has to go backwards. I have to keep my center of gravity. I see a lot of people just lean forward and that causes some issues. And then I see them just kind of squat down and into it too much. So put that soft bend in your knees, keep that distance in your knees, that, that same flexion in your knees and lean back. All right, now if you see this, where the upper back comes off, that means you're hyperextending your spine. The other thing, if you bend forward, and that tail part comes out, that means you're flexing your spine. Okay, so this gives you some good kinesthetic feedback. Now again, it's very important that you go nice and slow. Keep those abs tight, okay? Don't just be too much extension and don't be too much flexion. Now, that's how to bend forward. When you come back up, the other thing I see on a lot of people is as they go forward, they lift with their back, okay? When we bend forward, it's much more efficient and healthy for our spine, and you'll get a lot stronger movements if you lift through your hip, your hamstrings and your glutes. But it's hard for a lot of people to feel that they're lifting with their hips. So what you can do is use this PVC pipe, put this right in your hip crease, and same setup, stack that spine. You're gonna hinge over this PVC pipe. Now push this thing in, get a little bow in there, and when you come back up, don't lift with your back, just push that PVC pipe back out, okay? So one more time. Hinging over my hip, I'm pushing back and down, and I'm just gonna push it back out. Okay, one more uh, piece of equipment you can use to help you out. Some people don't feel it with the PVC pipe, they can't grasp it. Um, other people can't grasp it with this, so I like to give you some options. All right, you can put this guy in here. Now, if you don't have one of these, these are great from four core. Uh, you can use some of these jump stretch bands as well that people use for pull-ups and everything. <laughs> so same thing you're going to put this right on your butt cheeks stack that spine nice and tight abs and you're just going to push that band back okay just feel that resistance and push back into it again my knees are staying nice and soft one of the things that causes a lot of forward bend is when your hamstrings are too tight and you have to end up rounding your back okay another one here put that again in your hip crease get a good forward uh, tension on there and again bend forward and push it back out okay guys practice this repetition repetition it's more of a neuromuscular thing uh, just get it down so you don't have to think about it okay this is going to help if you like to work out and you're doing deadlifts or squatting lunging anything like that and then uh, just in your day-to-day -day life if you suffer from back pain